What we think is most exciting at the moment is that we feel that banks are preparing truly for digital transformation. This has been a topic where people have been talking about for a long, long, long time, but not really getting to the, to, to the, to the core of it. And so we have seen banks renewing their front ends, their portals, apps, but that's all kind of sub on, the, on the surface of the bank. It's uh, what we sometimes call lipstick on a pig. Now we see that banks are really considering to make that big step, make create a new platform, a new digital core, which is with today's technology, that actually can help them become truly digital. And truly digital also means that it's open and that you connect, can connect to other uh, financial services players to make better propositions for your customers. Well, today, and every day actually, we are showcasing our flagship product Matrix. Matrix is the most visionary digital banking platform in the world. Uh, it's a platform that was not only built with the newest technology, but was also a platform that built from a totally different conceptual angle. So we didn't start at the product and then build up to the, to, to the front, but we started with the client at heart. And then instead of the product and then the client is client of an attribute of the product, no, no, no. We, start, we decided to go for um, uh, starting with the client and then add products and services to the client the other way around. So the new core of a bank is about the client. Well, that's an interesting question because what we see happening is because we have this different way of looking how you create a modern digital bank, um, sometimes there's a lot of convincing to do because we meet a lot of CIOs and IT directors that still feel that the balance sheet of the bank is the core of the bank. And we really feel that the customer is, 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 is the most valuable part of the bank. And I think that trend is now getting there, that data is the new currency, the data is not in the balance sheet, but it's actually in, in your CRM systems. So the client value that the banks have might be their most important asset. If you start from that angle, you actually also start to think that your landscape, your architecture of your bank needs to look differently. You, have, you start from the other way around. So we have built that, that platform already, but now it's convincing, it's a little bit sometimes religion to explain to, to the CIOs of banks today that if they want to move on in today's world, they need to think differently about their landscapes as well. So that's our biggest challenge. I think we are, we are about to embark on a very, very interesting era of banking. Uh, banks in, in, in the past are basically known for being kind of castles with, with big walls and, 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 and protection uh, from the outside world. And now we're getting to an era that banks need to be both safe, secure, but also open. And that's kind of a counterintuitive feeling, but I think the modern banks are extremely open and secure. And you need modern technology to do that to be open and secure. With all technology, you can either be closed or not secure. And so they have to make a choice there. With this open banking, you basically create kind of an internet of banks. So all the banks, financial service providers, distribution channels, merchants, everything could actually work, to, everybody could work together to create kind of an ultimate banking experience. Um, in Europe, we see PSD2 as a big trend, which is kind of the predecessor of open banking. And with open banking, the bank basically becomes a financial app store, where with one touch on a button, you can actually create any type of financial service that is relevant for you as a, as a customer.